Hi everyone, it is Dawn here. Of, uh, the new channel name is Dawn of the New Earth, formerly Twin Hearts and Blaze. I want to share with you today something I was given to share that's a bit out of my comfort zone in terms of the language. Um, it's very scientific in a way, but um, I feel it is important. I haven't totally um, integrated, this is about integration, but I haven't totally integrated for myself what this all means. But I feel very compelled to go ahead and share it as it is, and then I might do a follow-up video if I have more to share. So um, the the uh, gist of what I'm going to share is about um, the call to the collective of those who broadly are dedicated to um, the new earth and uh, this new reality and a new era rich in love. Uh, issuing a collective call for us to really step into beginning with the, the now but beginning in earnest with the summer solstice through the end of the year of 2020 as a real six month period where we're being called to step into our role more fully as creation catalysts and I was um, I was shown two things one is that as each of us does that that we are together somehow some sort of catalytic converter <laughs> this is where I'm like what what is that and so I googled it of course and here is what a catalytic converter is a catalytic converter is an exhaust emission control device that reduces toxic gases and pollutants in exhaust gas from an internal combustion engine into less toxic pollutants by catalyzing a redox reaction, which is an oxidation and a reduction reaction. Catalytic converters are usually used with internal combustion engines fueled by either gasoline or diesel including lean burn engines as well as kerosene heaters and stoves. Okay, so caveat here, I'm the least mechanical person you could ever meet. I don't even know what that even meant. However, I do um, understand enough to, to know that this image that I was given of, of all of us as um, together becoming a, um, a catalytic converter and by the way we do that is by assuming our own individual creation catalyst roles, which will be revealed to us, um, and maybe a continuation of the mission that we have been on to this uh, time. It may be something brand new. Uh, I'm still kind of sitting with what that is for me. Um, but as we each do that and become our own sort of uh, pillars of change or creation, um, creation catalysts, um, that we are together like a catalytic converter and then together this is the key somehow to the next six months. I was given in multiple ways the number six um, and in term, the, the best I can describe it, um, I've been shown sort of these six facets of change that seem to correspond to the six months um, beginning with summer solstice right on through winter solstice in 2021 leading into um, I, into you know the next um, so this is clearly a, a year of um, it's a pivot year in many ways it is about foundations and seemingly about the uh, dissolution of many foundations um, so I think I'll title this creation catalyst six facets of change so these six facets of change um, I'm gonna say loosely correspond to the next six months um, and ultimately, these six facets of change are about the opportunity to step into the diamond heart, the diamond heart of um, our co-creative roles with, in the new earth, of the new earth, with the new earth, um, and to, it's about heartbeat, okay? So this idea of us being a creation catalyst is very much about resonance um, and a heartbeat that has the, that when we're in sync with that unique creation heartbeat that we each have, it has the capacity to connect us more fully, of course, with love and with 
with bringing that, letting that love run through us because that is the, you know, the, the heartbeat of creation itself and letting that love flow through us and then letting it pour out from us um, into all and somehow that is when we're each doing that and you know kind of connected into our own unique uh, heartbeat of creation that we become we have suddenly our collective capacity is greatly enhanced and we become this sort of catalytic converter that is able to transmute more effectively take this exhaust um, and the emissions emissions that are being sprouted out spouted out into our environment of all kinds by the way not I'm not just talking about environmental here I'm talking about like all kinds of pollutants that we somehow then have the capacity as we're in our creation heartbeat to become this catalytic converter that reduces the uh, pollutants and therefore that love that is the fuel when we let love be the fuel that leads us in our day-to-day -day lives and in um, in the embodiment of what we, uh, who we are, and that in and of itself as a means to creation, as opposed to uh, a disempowered way of uh, approaching reality as consumers or, or just by, uh, through consumption. Um, that as we are creators, we together are this, this uh, we're, we're creation catalysts that then become a catalytic converter. And that conversion, is really critical in the next six months. Um, the other thing I was shown is that there will, uh, much similar to the video I made on the seven years of change, now we're into months, I don't I don't know what's going on, but um, it's like six, a rapid, six facets of change, and we're gonna feel like one facet, two facets, you know, like it's changing there, and there's a rapid uh, succession of changing circumstances, uh, perhaps uh, perhaps challenges, perhaps what's playing out in the collective or what appears to be playing out in the collective. Um, and, you know, it's one after the other, but what's important to really ground into here is that as we connect to our, our own heartbeats and the flow of love that is one with life, that as we are in that creator capacity, that we naturally, combine our, our energies are combined together to naturally convert those um, the exhaust and the exhaustion and the emissions or the pollutants we naturally reduce the toxic environment for all humanity for the earth itself and for uh, whatever is unfolding more um, you know, on that broader level. And so it's about ultimately stepping into the diamond heart. And so what it was shown is like, as these facets um, shift through the next six months, let's say, um, and that we hold that creator space and we hold uh, that connection to our unique heartbeat of creation, that there's this, um, we become catalysts and together there's this conversion that's happening and it's like a societal um at the societal level and at the global level and even beyond that like somehow it's um connected to connected to somehow to some galactic mission i don't really have that piece right now but but all of that again it's it's fueled by love and by our choice for love choice for love choice for love choice for love in each of these six facets of change I was reminded as I was shown many of these things of, um, of a, let me read this to you, from um, one of the Seeds for Life um, that I talk about is entitled Grace Unfurls Its Wings. And it talks about the heartbeat of humanity. It says this, world without end, you are cradled in an infinite grace, an indestructible nest of love. Even as you fly far from it and fall from its comfort, love expands to hold you in its wide embrace. You are winged ones migrating even now back to your native home. Rest in the truth that you have never been far away. A heartbeat from remembering, you are where love is to be re reborn again. Your life is the reincarnation of this truth. Love has not died. No matter your perception that all has been lost, notwithstanding the darkness that surrounds you, Never mind the long stretches of shadow that have wrapped around the girth of your world. 
rekindle now the light of love inextinguishable. Hope is not lost where love is found, and love can be found even in the vast expanse of space and time, seemingly emptied of all that is, yet filled with infinite grace and possibility. Surrender to that grace and you become love. So this was another image that I've been shown again and again, along with these six facets of change, which were brilliant, but they come through lenses that we would not expect. And my sense of it is that there will be challenges uh, in, in rapid succession. So the other image though, was that these were happening, these facets um, were showing up in this vast field of like unknown question mark, void, darkness, creation potential, that was unrealized and at the same time there was this opportunity for creation a new birthing of humanity for humanity of the new earth a real um a real move coming forth of these the um the invisible kingdom to emerge as this was transpiring there was this uncertainty and there was into this vast expanse an attempt to uh pour to consume well, to uh, to in um, encircle the emergence of this invisible kingdom and to shroud it and to push it down and and so it was like the facets of change the six rapid succession uh, months of you know whatever they are challenges chaos whatever were opportunities to look in the mirror and this is how we connect to the heartbeat this is how we maintain individually and then you know hopefully also in groups and in society, but individually, the heartbeat, the heartbeat, the heartbeat, return to your own heartbeat. Because remember these words, that when you surrender to grace and you trust in that grace, and you know that hope is not lost where love is to be found, and that love is found in the surrender to that grace, you yourself become love, you are aligned, and you are inseparable from it. So, uh, the other image I was shown um, is with these six uh, facets of change that were very, they were, they were doorways into this diamond heart. Um, and this is very connected to the series of videos I did on the new society, which I called like diamond, what was it called? Diamond dimensions, diamond dimensions. So this is connected to it, but yet in this series of, um, you know, kind of glimpses or whatever that I've been shown, it's much more about each of us individually holding that space for uh, in the void, our own voids, right? The void period of our passage through time and space in our own lives, whatever that looks like, it's different. That's what's so like amazing and a little bit unsettling about everything that's happening. I've really noticed this so strongly that for each one of us, that it's different. And you know, yes, you're, you know, we're facing our own, um, all that is unreconciled <clears throat> within us, excuse me, been outside too long, but it's the best place I have to record this. Um, all that is unreconciled within us and all that is, uh, has been swept under into the darkness or under the rug in terms of society and, um, and beyond. And I would say even at that cosmic level, there's some sense of that happening right now. So it is a, um, it is a rebalancing period and there that in the midst of all that there's the shadow you know that that passage I just read talks about this, the long stretches of shadow that have wrapped around the girth of your world and some of us may have felt you know with recent events or just this quarantine quarantine type period that we've been going through globally that there has been a um, like you know constriction uh, being squeezed and we're uh, there's Ugh, this icky you just want to push it off and 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 step out into the sunshine and yet this um, the void is necessary for for the full creation and the void does not have to be what it first appears to be so that is part of the six facets of change too is that to to align ourselves with the heart of who we are Again, I would, I would, my language for that would be the one light, the one life, the one love that we are at our core. Um, but you, you may have a different way of understanding that. But whatever that is for you, where you can step fully into 
the creation power and align yourself with that and stay in that hold that center because holding that center is what again will allow us to make this passage through time and space in this particular you know period of um, our collective transformation of these next six months it will allow us to 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 path uh, to make that passage um, and to be as one catalytic converter to be in the process of conversion to allow this process of um, uh, distillation and this return to that heartbeat of creation that where we are one with one another and the earth but each with our own unique distinct heartbeat pulse that is a contributor to that larger unfolding of the new earth the new heaven and the new earth and it is an opening of the diamond heart and the 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 promise of um, us making this passage together successfully would be for each of us to step into the center of, of that diamond heart and to live from that place where, you know, what's a diamond uh, structure like, right? There is such, um, if there is an indestructible nature to it. And that brings me back to the beginning of what I read to you there is that we're, cr we're cradled within an infinite grace, an indestructible nest of love. And that is the first of those 12 diamond dimensions, I believe, I have to look back at the videos, but that I talked about where there was this nest of love. And so this is an opportunity for each of us individually and collectively to step back into that diamond heart by, and to understand that it is indestructible, um, no matter the storms that may come. And so as we move through um, these, the six month period um, here beginning in later in June with, with the summer solstice, um, let's each one of us focus our attention on um, stepping into the center of creation, aligning ourselves with creation, um, our own creative pulse, creative energy. And that shows up in a lot of different ways. Um, it could be as simple as connecting with the uh, connecting with intention with um, the the you know going to a river and putting your feet in the river or climbing a tree or um, flying a kite so as much as possible tap into those unique qualities that you bring or maybe it's joy maybe it's peace maybe it's simplicity, maybe it is integrity, maybe it's wholeness, maybe it's all of these in your own unique you know, flavor or way of expressing who you are because it's really important right now for us not to diminish that in any way or to allow our pulse to be weakened by all of the exhaustion that is being um, recycled in our, the atmosphere of Earth and that can appear to be, uh, to pollute it to such a degree that it cannot be, it can no longer be transmuted or transformed. But of course that is an illusion and we are creation catalysts and we are together at that catalytic converter that can um, usher in this new era rich in love through the conversion, the conversion of all that has been a perversion and or a, um, a reduction. Um, and take take that um, and repurpose um, and give it back, restore it back to where it truly belongs, um, to free it essentially, because that's what it is. It's it's uh, transforming it um, into a new um, a new form. Let's see, what did it say? An oxid a redox reaction, an oxidation and a reduction reaction is what the catalytic converter does. So together, that's what we're doing. When all we have to do, our only role is just, or, or, or only, um, not role, but our only um, job is simply to step into a, again and again that heartbeat of who we are. Because we are one heartbeat from remembering and we are like add these, these six facets of change are uh, like they're a step up into the diamond heart of the new earth 
so that we can fully um, be present to the beauty that is unfolding and be one with that beauty and bring our beauty and our unique offerings to that process. So I hope that that has made some sense to you. I might uh, come back when I have more understanding about you know what that m you know means. But right now, the strongest, purest message is simply to, regardless of the void that appears to be happening in your own life or around us or in the world, that it's really important to stay with the heartbeat. Stay with the heartbeat. And those words, I think, uh, are what keep resonating for me. Heartbeat. Uh, nest in some ways, um, creation, beginning again, grace. So, and what was it? Grace, surrender to grace and you become love. And see, love is the fuel that will um, allow that, uh, allow us to, to in our, in our um, showing up as creation catalysts, that love is the fuel that will allow us together to be a, that catalytic converter that changes all that was intended um, for darker purposes, that shadow around the girth of our world, to, to dissipate that through um, the, um, through the conversion of um, exhaust emissions and um, that breakdown that is going to naturally occur. That's what was really beautiful too about what I was shown. It's naturally going to occur. We don't have to actually physically do the breaking down. We just have to show up as um, the creators that we are in each and every moment and stay with that and trust, um, lean into grace and know that love will emerge and flow through us and we ourselves become the pillars of that new earth. Um, and ironically, the video that I was going to do today was the first in the sacred uh, partnership series that I want to um, share a little bit more on. And it was about the um, pillars, the four pillars. And so I'll be back with that at some point. But I wanted to share this because it feels um, feels really important. And for some reason, um, I felt like it was important to get out before the 4th of June. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody talking about that. I think the 5th might be the, um, what is it, the full moon? New moon? I always get moons confused. I think it's the full moon. I don't know. Um, but in any case, um, even though it's a few weeks away still from the summer summer solstice and, and uh, eclipse, I believe, it's coming up too. Maybe that's what, oh yeah, yeah. One more thing, sorry. The um, eclipse. Um, hmm. Oh, let me, I can't remember what that was now. There was something in, um, something I was shown about, yes. Okay, so those six facets of change, and you know, we're really looking from different perspectives, right, at those six facets of change, and, and it, there may be some feeling of confusion, confusion meaning against fusion, and so there can be the tendency to be pulled off course, and so it's really important, again, to hold that center of your own diamond heart um, as you connect to that heartbeat of creation and that allow for the fusion within you of receiving more of that grace and allowing that love to flow through you, and as you're doing that, then there's there is that, um, there is a greater um, connection to your own heart, to creation itself, and, and to one another. And the eclipse, uh, kind of what I was shown about those six facets of change in the six months ahead is that if we, if we allow ourselves to be pulled off by whatever, like those, those six uh, facets, one or the other or several, all of them might trigger us to such a degree that we could be um, pulled off center into like one hallway. Imagine they're all like, all of these facets are gateways or hallways, but if we get stuck in one of them, then, um, or if too many of us get stuck in one of them, it'll be off balance and so there we won't be able to hold that um, the larger catalytic conversion process that's going on and also at least from the way I'm interpreting what I saw there would be the chance that we get stuck in one of those as opposed to living in the center of that diamond heart of the diamond dimensions of change the 12 diamond dimensions that I talked about in the new society um, series I'll link to that below okay I'll be back later with um, with a different video on 
the Sacred Partnership series at some point. It may, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know when it'll be. Um, but right now I, I feel very strongly about this um, holding, connecting to that heartbeat of creation because the whole creation is, is groaning um, and needs us to be attuned um, to that, um, that cry. And it is a freedom cry. It's a cry for freedom. It is, it's, uh, it's a very, to me, as I have heard it and interpreted um, the cry of the, the new earth and of humanity, it is a cry for freedom and it is like a, it is a warrior cry and it is a beautiful song. It is, it is the song of our story, the story of humanity and the opportunity where we are right now.